Okay, it's been about three and a half hours now since we added the water and the salt to the dough and began to fold it. I'm going to divide the dough now and shape a boule and a batard and use these bannetons over here. This is an, an eight inch one and this is a 13 by six. So the 13 by six holds a, a kilogram of dough and it's going to need a little bit more dough than the eight inch round banneton. So I'll just eyeball one a little bit bigger than the other and then we'll see how much I've got. Just wanted to show you that you can see the layers in the, the type of lamination that you get when you do a double hydration and you do the gentle folding. Now if you did this in a mixer you wouldn't get this but this helps the uh, the dough when it springs up in the oven to have nice large airy holes in the crumb. Sticky. Got 700 grams there. I can show you this one as well. You can see the lamination in that. That's almost 800. So that's 793 and the other one was 700. So we'll go with that. This one's almost 100 grams larger than the other one. For dusting flour, I'm using a mixture of white flour, rice flour, and some rye flour. I'm gonna put a, just a little bit on the surface here, not too much. And I'm gonna do some pre-shaping. This is going to be the batard. Put your smooth side down and your rough side to the inside. It's trying to stick to my fingers. Get a little bit of flour on there. There, we've got a nice pre-shape, and I'll set that aside and uh, come back and do a final shape a little bit later. So let's go ahead and shape our, our round loaf, or our boule. Put the smooth side down, the rough side to the top. Now this dough was kept cold since it was first mixed and my room temperature is somewhat cold. Let's see what the temperature of the dough is now. It probably hasn't warmed up all the way. About 16 degrees Celsius. Or let's see, I did I pushed the wrong button for that. 16 degrees Celsius or 60 degrees Fahrenheit, 60.8 degrees Fahrenheit. So the dough hasn't warmed up a lot and that's important because uh, it's been three and a half hours. The dough was cold since I first mixed it yesterday. And what I'm trying to tell you is I've kept the dough somewhat cold. That's one reason why the, the starter percentage in the dough was a little bit on the high side because I'm going to shape it and put it back in the refrigerator overnight. And that will end up being quite a bit of time. So the three and a half hours really wasn't enough time to fully ferment the dough. The, do the gluten structure is strong, it's, that's doing well, but it doesn't have a lot of bubbles. It has a few bubbles, but it does need more fermentation, and we're going to do that in the cold refrigerator. So we'll set that aside, and we'll come back and do a final shaping in about 20 minutes. <laughs> 